Hey guys, welcome back. So yesterday we started with intro to unit rates. Now we are still dealing with unit rates, but we're going to add another layer to it. So yesterday we did nothing but division. Um, we're still going to do some division, but we're going to add some multiplication in here too. So let's take a look at what we got to do today. Share my screen. Share. All right, ladies and gentlemen. So again, a unit rate is when we're trying to figure out how much it is for one of something. But once we find out how much it is for one of something, then we sometimes have to compare to see what is better. What's the better deal? So let's look at this one. This one says, which is the better buy? So we have 12 bars of soap for $10 or five bars of soap for $4. So I need to figure out which one's the better one to buy. So let's look at the first one. I have 12 bars that cost $10. Or I have five bars that cost $4. They want to know which one's the better one to buy. Well, we have to figure out how much it is for one bar of soap to figure out which one's the better buy. So let's start with this one. In order to get to one, I have to divide by itself. 12 divided by 12 is one. Therefore, I have to do the same to this. So I have $10 divided by 12. Remember you have a decimal, so make sure you bring that up. 12 can't go into one, 12 can't go into 10. So I have to start here. 12 into 100. Hmm, I need some scratch work. 12 times five, let's see what that gives us. We have 10, five, six, hmm, almost there. Let's try 12 times seven. We have 14, seven, eight, a little bit closer. Let's try 12 times 8. 16, 8, 9. 96 is probably as close as we're going to get. So we're going to use 8. Then we'll subtract 96. Got to borrow. Yeah. So 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We got 4 here. 9 from 9 is 0. And then we have 0. Bring down our next one. Okay, we have 40. Well, if I go back to my scratch work, 12 times 5 gave me 60. That's too much. So let's do 12 times 4. We have 8. And 4 times 1 is 48. Yeah, that's too much. 12 times 3 is 36. So we're going to use 3. Subtract our 36. We have to borrow 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. I have 4 left over. Add a 0. Hmm. We got 40 again. I just had 40 right here. So I got 40 again. So that means this three is going to be repeating. It's just going to keep going. So for one bar here, it's going to be 83 cent infinity. Well, 0 0.8333333. But let's just say because it's money, 83 cent. Okay. Let's look over here. In order to get to one bar, I had to divide by five. So I need to do the same thing here. So I have $4 divided by five. Remember to bring your decimal up. Five can't go into four. 40, five times eight is 40. I have zero left over and I still have a zero here. So I can just bring it up. So over here, one bar of soap is 80 cent. So which one's the better buy? Buying 12 bars of soap at 83 cents or buying five bars of soap at 80 cents. Very good. Buying the five bars of soap is the better buy for $4. Okay. All right. Again, we use division because we're looking for the unit rate to figure out how much one of something costs. And then I'm able to make a decision as to comparing items. All right, let's look at the next one. Hey, Sue bought three pairs of jeans for $71.40. How much would he need to pay for eight pairs of jeans? So, huh, they have us doing two things here. We have to figure out how much one pair of jeans costs, so that way I can figure out how much eight pairs of jeans cost. So I'm going to be dividing and multiplying. So let's see. Three pairs of jeans. They told us that that costs $71.40. We got to figure out how much for one pair of jeans. Okay. In order to get to one, 
I divided by three. So I need to do the same thing here. Okay, so 7140. I'm going to divide that by three. Remember, I have a decimal, so I need to bring that up. Three into seven, I can do that two times with one left over. Let's see, three times four is too much, that'll give you 12. So let's do three times three, which is nine. Nine, 10, 11, it's two left over. Bring our four down. I know that three times eight will give me 24 zero left over, but I still have a zero here. So I need to bring that zero up. So one pair of jeans costs 23.80. 23.80 is one pair of jeans. Now I have to figure out, okay, I know how much one pair costs. I need to figure out how much eight is. I'm gonna take that price, my 23.80, and I'm gonna multiply it by eight. Eight times zero is zero. Eight times eight, 64. Eight times three, 24 plus six, 30. Eight times two, 16 plus three, 19. Okay. Remember we have a decimal in here because we're multiplying, we got to count. One, two, I have two places here, no decimals here. So I need to move my decimal two from the, from the left. One, two. So my cost for eight pairs of jeans is $190 and 40 cents. Okay, again, I had to figure out how much one pair of jeans cost. Then I was able to figure out how much eight pairs of jeans cost by multiplying it. All right, ladies and gents, one more. Do, do, do. All right, Morgan scored 42 points in three games. How many points would you expect him to make in 10 games? Um, wrong label. Hello. So we have points that we need to put here. And games. So we have 42 points in three games, okay? So they want to know how many points per game. So I need to figure out how many they score in one game. I would need to divide by three on both the top and the bottom. Three divided by three gives me one here. So I'm going to do the same up here. Three will go into four one time. One left over. Then we have three times four will give us 12. So 12 points in one game, 12 points per game. Now we need to take it to 10. How many points would they make in 10 games if they follow that same logic? So when you do 12 times 10, zero times two is zero. Zero times one is zero, zero placeholder. One times two is two, one times one is one. Add it up, zero, two, one. So they would score 120 points in 10 games. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you're gonna do some practice on your own. You're gonna have some problems where you have to compare to figure out what's the better deal. And then you're going to have some problems where you have to see how much it is for one of something to get the total. All right, guys, do your best. I'll see you tomorrow.